blessed day. Welcome to the Undeserved Favor Ministry online service. The ministry is here for you to experience God's love and grace in action where the key to reign in life is revealed. We are so glad that you have joined us today to worship our heavenly Abba Father God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for welcoming us into your home or wherever you may be right now. We hope that you will feel God's presence and will have a meaningful experience in our worship, communion, tithes and offering, and the preaching of the word. As your online family, we wish to connect with you and would love to hear from you. So please message us on Facebook at Undeserved Favor Ministry. We are also inviting you to send in your prayer requests and would love to hear your testimonies. For your prayer requests and testimonies, you can message us directly on Facebook at Undeserved Favor Ministry. You know, our eyewitness accounts are true to life testimonies of God's love and grace in action. And these accounts have greatly encouraged and uplifted many. And now we believe that God has a revelation in store for you today. Enjoy today's worship. God bless. Hello Church, welcome to our UFM Sunday service online. Indeed, God is so good to us, amen, that He has allowed us to gather and praise and worship His wonderful name because He loves us so much and His grace for us is renewed every day. So before we start, let's open with an opening prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for the favor and for your grace and for the love that you've given us today. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this privilege to praise and worship your name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, church, come. Let's praise and worship our Lord. Let's go. All right, church, clap your hands at home. Come and praise the Lord with us. Sing Love Unstoppable. Love Unstoppable, breaking all my fears. Glory of the sun, shining brighter. Running to the cross, where your mercy pours. All my shame is gone. You have won it all. You have won it all. Oh. Christ is Lord. Come on, church, declare it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Revolution 
title belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Come on, church, declare it. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Ooh. Yes, Jesus, we're going to see a victory, Lord what you've done for us, Lord. Because of that, Lord, is our confidence that you will bless us always. And so our focus will always be on you because your grace is for us and you love us so much. And we don't have to be worried or afraid about anything. So church, as we praise and worship our Lord, just turn your eyes and focus on him.
our eyes on you, Lord, and we declare, Lord, that you love us. You love us, Lord. blessings and favor all the days of our life even in the midst of the virus and the pandemic we don't have to worry about anything not our health our finances not even our family because you are the provider you provide for us all the things that we need and even the things that we want and so we declare lord our confidence in you for your promises have never failed in jesus name we pray Amen. Now we have come to our Holy Communion. Please make sure that you have your communion elements with you as together we will remember the sacrifice and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now before he was betrayed, he gathered all of his disciples in an upper room where he took the bread, gave thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body, which will be broken for you. Do this as often in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples and said, This is my blood, 
the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, it will be shed for the forgiveness of all your sins. Do this as often in remembrance of me. Now, beloved children of God, the bread that you hold in your hand right now symbolizes the body of Jesus that was wounded and crushed. And all the lashes and stripe that fell on his body is for our healing today. And this cup symbolizes his precious and perfect blood, which he willingly shed for the forgiveness of all our sins, so that today we can stand with favor and love in the presence of God the Father. So I invite you now to raise the bread and declare, Lord Jesus, you are my Savior. Your body was broken and it has made me whole. By your stripes, I am healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I receive this Jesus. Thank you for loving me. You may not eat the bread. Now I invite you to raise the cup. Let us declare, Lord Jesus, you are my savior. Your blood was shed for the forgiveness of my sins, past, present, and future, so that today I live a life full of favor. I receive this Jesus. Thank you. I love you too. Amen. You may now take the wine. Now, church, we hope that as you partook of the communion, you remember the sacrifice and death of your loving Savior, Jesus Christ. We encourage you not only to do this today, but to do it every day with your family. We know that after the worship, you're even more excited to give your tithes and offering. But please be reminded that the giving of tithes and offering comes by a revelation that Jesus is truly alive in our lives. It is an act of faith and a privilege, so please do not feel obliged if you do not have that revelation yet. Be excited because God will reveal it to you in His perfect time. For those who already have that revelation and when you act out of faith, then there is nothing that will stop the floodgates of heaven to open as your Father in heaven has prepared everything for you. If you intend to electrically give your tithes and offering through online fund transfer, please indicate your name in the remarks field so that Pastor Ronald can personally pray for you. With this, we invite you to raise your hand, your mobile gadget, or your tithe envelope. For our prayer, let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Father, you are indeed a good God. Your most generous ways never run out and never wear out. You give a seed for our bread and much more, so that we can also be generous in every way, producing within us. Great praise to you, O God. We rest assured that you will reveal the message of tithing to those who are seeking you in it. Thank you for the privilege to tithe and offer today. Continue to honor and glorify yourself through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessed Sunday, brothers and sisters, and once again, welcome to our online Sunday service. You know what? It is not by accident that you are here. Dili accident tig soon, nga naka-appil ka karon kini nga panagtigom online, na irason ang ginoo, nga nangyaya kang ipapil. So even if it's your first time, first time ni mo naka-appil ka karon dili na sa accident na irason ang ginoo, na I believe that being part of this uh, online Sunday service, I believe that you are not just a liker, you are not just a commenter, but you are part of this family, the Undeserved Favor Ministry uh, online service. So, we are a family here uh, with Jesus Christ as our head. So, ayaw ka ulo magsun. In fact, I would like to challenge you. No, I challenge mo. You type there in our group chat, whether in Victorious, Yeshuans, in UFM team, or UFM online Sunday service, you type there. I am a family bisag wala pa ta nagkita ang uban no wala pa ta nagkita wala pa ta nag inilanay in personal no uh, but you type there I am a family because 
that's who we are. We are a family here in Undeserved Favor Ministry. But before we proceed to our word, I know you are all excited for our word today, for another revelation from our Abba Father. No, so am I. I'm, I am Red Bull excited to share to you God's word for today. So there's this declaration that we usually declare every time we gather. So this declaration is very important, brothers and sisters, because this declaration speaks of who we really are in Christ Jesus. So, uh, kung wala pa ni mo na-memorize, basahan lang mo igsoon, ipakita lang na dia sa screen, and uh, your right hand in your chest, and you declare with me. In Christ, I am greatly blessed. I am highly favored. I am deeply loved. I am a winner. I am blessed to be a blessing. One more time. In Christ, I am greatly blessed. I am highly favored. I am deeply loved. I am a winner. I am blessed to be a blessing. And why is that, brothers and sisters? Because we are in Christ. So, dili na to walaon ang pangalan ni Jesus Christ sa pagsugod ani nga declaration. Kaya kung wala si Jesus Christ, walay power, walay gahom, kini nga declaration. So, for the very last time, brothers and sisters, with more conviction, again, your right hand on your chest, and with resounding voice, we declare, In Christ, I am greatly blessed. I am highly favored. I am deeply loved. I am a winner. I am blessed to be a blessing. Amen and amen. So, kumusta ka mo mga egson? So, gikan pata sa series, no? Five uh, part series, no? Message ni Pastor Ronel. And a uh, very amazing series. No? Especially during this time, no? We're facing this crisis, kaning uh, pandemic. And daghan kay tag mga uncertainties, wala ta kabalo kalos ama human, kalos ama about ang vaccine, no? Uh, uh, daghan uncertainties and uh, that uh, series, no? With Pastor Ronel was uh, very timely. So just in case, just in case, na kayo namin sa itong series, ayaw kabalaka, no? Uh, just go to YouTube mga egzoon, no? Ang ginoo, grabe ka, gitagaan kita resources, no? Just go to YouTube and you type there, Undeserved Favor Ministry, pangita ito, asa na series mong na, na miss, and pwede mo i-download, and um, in fact, pwede mo i-review, pwede, pwede mo pamati yun, usab, pwede pwede mo i-share, no? Kung na kayo gusto nga sharean, especially mo mga loved ones. So, walay nausik aning nga pinagtigong nato uh, online brothers and sisters so i know you are very excited for our word for today so if you have your bible with you so kindly open your bible in genesis 12 verses 1 to 4 again genesis 12 verses 1 to 4 so kung naglibog ka pangita asa ang genesis no asa nga part sa bible nasa first part ng no? no kung wala kay bible it's okay you have your cell phone with you you have your internet you type there sa google no genesis 12 1 to 4 no tagaan ipakita na sa imo so grabe ka amazing ang technology brothers and sisters so genesis 12 1 to 4 so let's read um if you have your, you have your bible with you you read with me genesis 12 verses 1 to 4 now the lord had said to abram abraham Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. Verse 2, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you all, the families of the earth shall be blessed. Verse 4, so Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Amen and Amen. So brothers and sisters, I would like to begin with this question. Was there a point in your life when you had to let go of something or someone? Especially if that someone or something is very valuable or close to you. Dili na lang na kung unsa ang feeling, but I know, dili gid sa no? Lisod ang feeling to let go of something or someone, no? And human as we are, human as we are, we have this tendency nga ma-attach, no? Ma-attach ta sa butang or sa mga tao, no? But dili ta mabalaka kay sometimes, no? Attachment could become our strength. Mahimo na to ng strength, no? Nga ato panghawakan sa tibok na itong kinabuhi, no? Kini mga attachment, dili po na sa daotan. Na yung mga attachment nga maayo, no? Example, no? In my case, I am attached, no? To this ministry. <laughs> Undeserved favor ministry is one of my attachment, actually. And it's my strength because, no? 
being attached to this ministry, no, and I get to be reminded, no, every day of who Jesus is in my life and in my family. Kinsa ang akong langit ng amahan. No, I have this uh, intimate relationship with my Abba Father and with Jesus, and that's a strength. No, I cannot imagine my life being away, no, uh, being a part of this ministry. And for me, that's a strength, no. So, but attachment could be our problem too. So, pwede po nato sa may, may mga problema. No? Like in that series of Pastor Ronel, no? uh, How to Reign Over Our Finances, he mentioned there that we should worship, no? worship the giver and not the gift. Diba? Yatong dimension. And then, uh, in most likely case, ato ah, no? oftentimes we worship the gift. No? We are so attached to the gift, but so detached to the source of the gift. And, for this gathering, my son, for this particular Sunday, God would like to remind us, no, one thing that God wants from us, and gusto gin sa ginos ato ha, is we learn how to let go of the things, especially if those things or of these things are hindering us or slowing us down as we move forward to the plans that God has set for us. So, kana ang gusto sa gino sa ato ha, no, uh, God wants us to be detached. To so learn how to let go so that we can move forward to the plans that uh, God has prepared for us. So one of my weakness actually is dali na kay ko gariak. So kung na i-communicate or istorya sa ako, whether verbally, no face-to-face or through email, dali na kay ko gariak. So, no? react, expect a reaction from me. And I used to justify and you know what, retaliate, no? kung kung medyo bugat gyud ang buhian ni istorya no para sa ko especially kung i-correct ko mm, dali ra kay ko gareak may exon but over the time as i continue to to listen to to God's grace to Jesus and as i continue to know my loving no my savior more every day so this no slowly but surely gracias sa Ginoo may exon inahinay nagkawala to na ko nga batasan now kung sultian ko especially if uh, correctionan ko i don't give reactions but i respond Okay, I give my response. So, lahi ang responding sa reacting may exon. Okay, kung yung kag-reaction na yung naka-attach nga emotion. Okay? So, di ba sa katong series ni Pastor Ronel, ingon siya dito, uh, wisdom over our emotion. No, wisdom is greater than our emotion. Our mind is greater than our heart. So, munang importante nga, nga when we we re- give our response on on things, so, wala yung naka halo nga reaction nga emotional uh, attachment may exon and that's what basically no what god uh, want from us no god when god uh, call us no prepare us for his plan over our lives no he want us he all he want from us is our humble heart so kana gyud ang gusto sa exon sa mga exon sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi no we have we have to learn how to appreciate his goodness and his love for us and that's what basically what happened to the passage that we, we just read you know what God told Abraham, okay, leave your country, leave your family, your father's house, and go to a land that I will show you. Go to a land that I will show you. Meaning, I will show you. Wala pa na itabo, ipakita pa mga igsoon sa ginoo kang Abraham. So, wala yung ipakita. Daan nga, Abraham, oh, mauni mau ang land, ang lugar nga akong ihatag ganimo. So, wala, no? Ingo na ginoo, go to a land that I will show you. Yes, Abraham obeyed. But not 100%. Not 100%. Why? Because he brought Lot with him. No? Klaro ang instruction sa ginawa mga egzon. Leave your country. Leave your family. And Lot, pag umangkon siya ni Abraham. Sa akong nahibawaan, kung may yung kagpag umangkon, it's family. It's family. So, Abraham did not 100% obey God's uh, instruction because he brought Lot with him. Na siguro yung rason si Abraham later, ato na siyang istoryahan. But, just like Abraham, God has called us also. There's this plan that God wants us to pursue. And, what God wants from us is we have to learn how to let go those things, no? katong mga butang na dili part sa plano sa ginoo sa atong kinabuhi. Katong mga butang nga makapahinay, no? Makaslow sa ato as sa atong pagpadayon sa paglakaw, no? Sa atong pagpanginabuhi nga Kristohanon mga igsoon. So manong gusto sa ginoo nga we have to learn how to let go. Now, 
saying all these things, saying all these things, I learned no over in my life for for many years no. Uh, I've been hearing this this uh, gospel of grace. No, I realize in my life, I have a lot to give up. I have a lot to give up. And that's basically the title of our message for today, my exon. No, you and I, we have a lot to give up. So just like Abraham, brothers and sisters, we too have our own lots. We have our own struggles. We have our own weaknesses. And it's so difficult for us. To let go of them. No? God told Abraham that I will bless your name. I will make your name great. I will bless you and even use you as a blessing to all families on earth. And yet, Abraham failed because he brought Lot with him. And all God wants from, want from us is we have to learn how to let go. How to be detached with these things that are not part of his plan. Because these things will hinder us, will slow us down as we move forward. So dali ra kay igson isulti mo igson no mo yon nga mo ni ang plano sa Ginoo mo ni ang gibot sa Ginoo sa imong kinabuhi gipakamat yan ka gihatag niya iyang bugtong anak si Jesus Cristo para mamatay no para ikaw maluwas imong mga sala so that today we can live this righteous and favored life so dali ra kay yes lord yes lord i accept you as my personal personal lord and savior no i dawaton ta Ginoo Jesus Cristo sa akong kinabuhi but we okay na nasig Jesus Christ, sa imong kinabuhi, then you start moving, yes Lord, but as we move, we bring along with us our own lots, our struggles, our weaknesses, unnecessary baggages, mga egson, muna sa atong ipandala. You know, Hebrews 12 uh, tells us that we have to strip off every weight that slows us down so that we can run with endurance the race that God has set for us. And we do this by Focusing our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. So brothers and sisters, na adi sa atong DNA, we have this DNA of a champion. Ngayon na, kadumdum mo sa atong declaration, di ba? I am a winner. Why? Because we have this DNA of a champion, the, the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, DNA is in us. Jesus Christ is inside of us. So that's why today we we are sure that we can move forward, we can run this race in life with endurance because of Jesus Christ. And we do this by focusing our eyes on Jesus, not focusing our eyes on our failures, sa mga asayop nga decision nga atong nabuhat before, may exo, no? kabal ko daghan. No? For me personally, I failed miserably, I failed big time in my life, and now I'm experiencing some, no? consequences of those uh, uh, bad decisions I made but you know what nagsagrasa sa Gino no kung unsa ka kalawom ang imong nahagbungan no but God uh, because of his abounding grace no he gave us he gave us his son Jesus Christ to suffer and die for all our sins so that's why today we can live this uh, righteous and favored life so my son no for this uh, gathering there are two things that God want us to be reminded of what are these two things my son So first thing is that God calls us to move. God calls us to move. And second thing is that God calls us to let go. Now when God calls us to move with Him, to flow with Him, that means also that we have to learn how to let go. So first point, brothers and sisters, God calls us to move. God does not let his people settle in and get too comfortable. No, dili na mao ang gusto sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi mo igsoon nga. Mos mo mo settle na lang ta sa kung kinsa ta karon no and we don't grow and uh, you know we end up no we're stuck up, we're stagnant, we're not moving forward. Dili na mao ang design sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi mo igsoon. Why? Because he is a God of movement. Even in in Genesis 1 to ingon dito nga when God created the the the, the world The earth was without form and void, and the spirit of God is hovering over the surface of the water. So you know, it is really the nature of our uh, heavenly Father to to move. He's a God of movement, and even no the story of this, uh, the the Israelites, no God uh, don't uh, allow the Israelites to to stay in one place. In fact, he is uh, transferring his people from one place to another, and. For all of us, no, God is always offering new 
future a new beginning meaning every day of our lives is an opportunity for us to grow every day of our lives no opportunity nga gihatag kanato sa Ginoo para uh, mulambo ang atong kinabuhi to grow no uh, spiritually and uh, apply no these learnings sa atong pagpinginabuhi sa atong trabaho sa atong eskwela sa atong uh, negosyo sa atong pamilya kining tanan mga igsoon no gigamit kini sa Ginoo para uh, so that we can uh, we will continue to grow and move forward no as we continue to flow with God no with this plan sa atong kinabuhi so ina na ang gusto sa igso uh, Ginoo no mga igsoon sa atong kinabuhi no Ingon siya nga as we move, no, we have to focus, we have to have a goal, no. As we move, there is this goal that we have to, you know, focus on. And what is that goal, mga igsoon? So let's read in Philippians 3, 12 to 14. So this is the message version, no. There is the this goal that God wants us to focus on. Ingon din he, no. I'm not saying this is Paul, no, to the people in Philippi. I'm not saying that I have this all together, that I have it made, but I am well on my way, reaching out for Christ, who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but I've got my eye on the goal, where God is beckoning us onward to Jesus. I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back. So unsa ibot ipasabot aning a verse mga igsoon. In this verse, no, this verse tells us that Paul realizes that he is still a work in progress. Meaning, God is not yet done with him. God is still shaping him. God is still pruning him. And there are some areas in kinabuhi nga new opportunities nga giandam sa Ginoo para sa iya. And Paul said that he got his eyes on the goal. And that's Jesus. The goal is Jesus. So that's the same for all of us, no? As we continue to live our lives, no? Puyan ato tong kinabuhi, matag adlaw, no? As we continue to move forward, uh, God wants us to focus on Jesus. He is the goal, no? Our everyday goal, every day as we face all these challenges, these problems, no? Our struggles, we focus on Jesus. So my exon, don't give up yet, no? Kung naapay pitik, no? Sa imong ginhawa na pipitik sa imong uh, pulso karon sa imong kinabuhi mingson god is not done with you yet no if you are in a uh, point of your life karon igsoon no, nga nag uh, you don't know your way out of the uh, particular circumstance no a problem no uh, an uh, addiction no maybe no and you don't know your way out well jesus said i am the way no if you are in a situation right now nga confused ka wala ka balo no you are so, we are Especially karon, ani nga pandemic, ani nga crisis, we are surrounded with all the negativities, no? News and then kin economic na to nga nga problema karon no nga gatubang sa tong gobyerno, kitang tanan, no? Maka-experience or even uh, whatever uh, lies no nga gi, gi insert sa kaaway sa tong kinabuhi, no? And you don't know, you are confused. Well, Jesus said, "I am the truth." No, I am your savior. I I love you and I suffered and died for you. That's the truth, no? Uh, so on. And if you think you are in a point, no, naka sa point sa imong kinabuhi karon that you are not moving forward, you are stagnant, you are stuck, and you're good as dead. Well, the good news, brothers and sisters, Jesus said, I am the life. So, as we continue to move forward, aning nga, uh, and journey na to, my so no, when God calls us to move, we move, no, along with Him, along with Jesus. Jesus is the goal. No, that we focus on every day as we move, as we flow with God. Now, my second point, brothers and sisters, and probably the last point for today. God calls us to let go. God calls us to let go. But before I continue, I think it's good for us to be reminded of this basic truth, okay? That Jesus already suffered and died for all our sins so that today we can live this righteous and favored life. Now, ako nang emphasize mga exon because many of us today still, no, we are still conscious of the mistakes, no, that we did in the past, no. Uh, we are still conscious of of the wrong things, no, that uh, we've done before, and of our sins, we are still conscious. And this kind of thinking 
slows or drags us down as we move forward. And these things, no, money ang mga butang na gusto sa ginoo nga atong let go. We have to free ourselves of this kind of thinking, of this belief system. Now, balikan na to si Abraham. Okay, wala pa tanaw man ni Abraham mga egzon. No? Kanong iya mag yung gidala si Lot? No? Kanong gidala? Kanong naglisod mag yun si Abraham o let go kang Lot? Now, atong tanaw, no? na yung rason, na yung valid reason si Abraham. And, kini nga rason mga egzon, muna usay ang ang trick sa kaaway nga gamiton sa ato. Okay? Now, tanaw na to. Actually, if basahan niyo ang Bible in Genesis 11, makita niyo dito ang genealogy ni Terra. No? The, the, the genealogy of Tera si Tera mao siya siya ang father ni Abraham okay na kung tanawin mo dito Tera no, has three sons no tuloy tuloy yung anak so the first is uh, Haran the second is Nahor no, I'm sorry about that name what it's what the Bible says no Nahor it doesn't sound good and the third one is of course Abraham and then Haran got uh, was the father of Lot. Okay? Haran was the father of Lot. So what happened, no? Um, of course, uh, si Nahor, na minyo siya, siya yung pamilya, so nabiya sa sa uh, balay ni uh, Terah. Okay? And then, after that, of course, uh, Haran died. At a very young age, Haran died. Giyon sa ito, pagkabalong uh, bata pa si Haran namatay. Tera was still alive. No? Buhi pa si Tera, sa dihang namatay si Haran. So meaning, what's left now is Lot and Abraham. Lot and Abraham. No wonder, no wonder my exon, no? Nga nung giuban na Abraham si Lot. No? Because Lot has this desire. Having the, na nasa desire, no? Uh, he's looking for this father figure. Yan namatay man niyang papa si Haran. And Abraham also, no, kabaluta sa desire ni Abraham. In fact, promise na ginoo sa ginoo siya yung kinabuhi, no, uh, that uh, he will make his uh, descendants, no, as numerous, numerous as the stars, no. So inana ang promise sa ginoo siya yung kinabuhi. And unsa man na, nga tigulang naman ko, tigulang na si Abraham, si Sarah, pigod, yung wife, barren, no, dili ka anak. And now, Abraham, nasi desire na magkaanak. Okay. So, ang kini din hi ang trick sa kaaway mga Igzon. Kini ang trick sa kaaway because the enemy would use no our legitimate desires nga but we're going to fulfill it the wrong way. Og mao ni ang problema karon ni Abraham. Because me I Abraham thought that okay, mo na ni Lord. <laughs> mo na ni siguro ang anak kay imong gipromise ako ah, si Lot. That's why the ay yang giuban si Lot. Because no Uh, maybe Abraham think that mauna si Lot na ang 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 answer sa sa iyang desire, no? Mga igsoon, mauni ang grabe nga trick sa kaaway nga gibuhaton sa ato, no? Nga sometimes ilaron ta nga Lord mauna naman siguro ni ang blessing, Lord mauna, this is it, Lord. Mauna gini siya, but actually it's a trick, mga igsoon. Because we know, no, that the kind of relationship Abraham and Lot that's not the kind of relationship that God ordained meaning lot si lot dili sa mao ang best sa Ginoo kay kabaluta no ang best sa Ginoo there's this son nga yang prepare in the name of Isaac nga mao yang prepare for Abraham and yet here comes Abraham believing that lot no was the son that God is uh, telling him so inana ang naitabo ani nga igsoon so that's why no wonder <laughs> nga si lot giuban na Abraham. And I would just like to share no personally no my experience my exon no, because uh, as I mentioned no, in the title I have a lot to give up no. I also have my own lots before no. Growing up na share naman ako sa inyo before no. Uh, I ni dako ko sa pamilya nga dili uh, well off no. We are not financially uh, we are we are in fact financially constrained so gipit me financially and growing up no. Um, wala gid tanan ako mga panginahanglanon before no growing up wala gid na provide sa akong papa or naka provide but not that much no dili gid siya enough so growing up uh, i have this uh, desire of of buying uh, in fact it becomes an obsession for me no buying shoes and clothes clothing no material things because uh, i believe nga na deprive ko ani growing up and uh, 
So true enough no sa high school, first year ko bago akong sapatos no, I have this nice Converse shoes no pag uh, when I entered high school first year. Wala well, kabalo nga mo na marito akong last nga sapatos ko pareton sa papa. First year si kanya fourth year pag abot na ako fourth year high school akong Converse na himong Nike. Meaning Nike ko ko ni gawa sa kilid kana langkat na. Kuha na yugo na palitan mo yung So that's why I, I told myself kung makahuman ako sa eskwela, na ko trabaho, na ko sueldo. I can buy all those uh, the shoes that I, I really like. So true enough, no? Fast forward, na human ko kiskuela sa college sa katrabaho ko, and then umano tong time, no? So tanan na because of this obsession, no? Mater- Lord, mo na ni desire na ko ni before nga makapalit ko na no? I can buy. Uh, in fact, I di lang ko kapalit og one pair lang. Sometimes three pairs of Nike shoes. Kay lahi ang casual, lahi ang pang jogging, lahi ang pang basketball. And before, I don't run and I don't play basketball, no? So, and, uh, I, I have these three pairs of Nike shoes. And and also with with clothing, no? Makarasunis, mga sanina, no? Tanan, uh, pamaliton nga, ganun. So, I have this obsession. And, well, nothing's wrong with all those things, but I realized that, no? It becomes an obsession, a habit, bad habit actually. No, I have this emotional attachment over those things, and along the way, no, walo ko kabantay that it's it ah uh, nana sa epekto no sa akong kinabuhi, especially with regards to my finances. Okay, sometimes no ang akong gasto wala na yung wisdom no bisag dili na ako kinanglaron ako ng paliton. Then I came up to the point that I I am short now financially because of those bad decisions I made, no and until now i'm still experiencing no the consequence of those bad decisions that i made and because the problem no before i have this emotional attachment no i have this emotional attachment over those material things and i think pastor Nell mentioned that in his sermon no that we need to have this wisdom over our emotions so before i don't have wisdom over my finances now because i am experiencing the consequences now my choices are limited <laughs> now i have very limited choices now with regards to to things nga akong gusto because you know i have to really tighten up my my budget but no because of, gracias sa Ginoo my exo no gracias sa Ginoo even though i have limited choices limited choices but better choices my exo o kana ang gracias sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi no Kung may laila lang yun ato si Hesus Kristo sa tong kinabuhi and when we receive his grace no because that's uh, uh that's Jesus is full of grace and truth and when we receive him in our life no slowly but surely God will give us wisdom how to run no how to manage our finances and karon may exon grace sa Ginoo even though I have limited choices but better choices actually and I learn how to really manage my finances as well no and mo kana you know ah uh, mga igsoon ang 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 gusto sa Ginoo sa atong kinabuhi that we have this wisdom no sa atong kinabuhi how to manage no our finances and not only sa finances every area sa atong kinabuhi mga igsoon so mahibaw ang ginato mga igsoon no ang trick sa kaaway na atay na atay desire but we are fulfilling it the wrong way so muna ang mahibaw ang dumato mga igsoon nga kana siya kaaway ang naglihok okay. number 1 kung ato gining i no kung nailad gyud ta ana nga trick nya ato na sang iporso mga exon two things sa ginay mahitabo no first kung ato na iporso nga desire nga trick sa kaaway na ginay bikil na nay bikil mga exon na ginay something wala kay peace na nay bikil nga along the way na ay mga maka encounter ka problema so na ginay bikil pero kung ato na yung let go no amazing things will happen actually that's what happened to Abraham mga exon that's what happened to Abraham so atong basahon no sa so Genesis 13:7 no uh, yun dire no and there was a strife <laughs> okay na ay kagubot na hitabo no misunderstanding and there was a strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock the uh, Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land so Abram said to Lot please let there be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen for we are brethren is not the whole land before you please separate from me giingnan abraham silat please separate from me if you take the left then i will go to the right so exon amazing gipapili pagod ni abraham silat no or if you go to the right then i will go to the left and Lot lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. 
like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go towards Zor. Gipili niya ang gwapo nga land, mga igsoon. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journey, journeyed east, and they separated from each other. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord s- said to Abraham, After Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes and now lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are northward, southward, uh, eastward and westward. For all the land which you see I give to you and your descendants forever, and I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth. So that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land to its land and its weed, for I give it to you. So finally, brothers and sisters, Abraham realizes that he needs to let Lot go. Siguro gignan niya si Lot. Lot, I love you, but this is not the kind of relationship that God has for me. So I have to let you go. It's painful, no? And it's inana bet me no? If we have we are attached to things, especially to people. Sometimes it's, it will cause a lot of pain to let them go. But, you know, why name was Abraham? He let Lot go. And the amazing thing is that after, you know, after nga iyang give, palakaw si Lot, iya pag yung gipapili sa guwapo ng lugar, no? Ang guwapo ng land, no? Ang gipili ni Lot. After that, nagibuhat to ni Abraham, Ingnan sa Ginoo tan-aw bisag asa kutob sa imong makita imuha na. So meaning na renew ang promise sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi ni Abraham mga Igson. Isn't it amazing? Di ba? Na renew ang promise king na I will I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, no? Padaghanon ang imong mga descendants, no? Na renew ang promise sa Ginoo sa kinabuhi ni Abraham after he let Lot go. And that's the same for all of us. Brothers and sisters, no? If we learn how to let go of our uh, wrong belief system, those wrong traditions nga, na, na ato nang practice over the years, no? If we learn how to let go of those unnecessary baggages nga atong gidadala sa atong kinabuhi, no? That's the only time that the grace of God can work no? sa atong kinabuhi, my exon. No? When God calls us to let go, Kasagara sa ato. In fact, dagan sa ato would prefer to stay no, in the comfort of the familiar things even if it's not a good situation than to go to the unknown. No? Inana, mo- mostly, may exo, mas ganahan ito magpabilin sa atong comfort zone than moving forward, moving to the unknown with God. God wants us to let go of anything that is not from Him. So, unsa man ang mga butang nga dili gikan sa Ginoo, tanang butang nga makadaot sa ato mga igsoon. Bad habits, addiction, wrong mindset, wrong belief system, no? Kay devastating kay na, no? For me, no? I, I experienced it many times, very frustrating and devastating, no? For me nga nakabalo na sa grasya sa sa Ginoo and yet nothing so much is happening in my life. I experienced that mga igsoon, it's very frustrating at devastating. That, that's why every day this repentance, change of mindset is very important my son. So when God calls us to let go, we let go of anything that is not from God, but no nice strength be ang attachment my son. We hold on to his promises. We hold on to Jesus. Jesus is our ultimate goal. That every day of our lives as we continue to live, no? especially during these ta- trying times, this crisis that we are facing, it's very important that we focus, we hold on to Jesus. Jesus is our goal every day. Na ata sa atong negosyo, na sa atong trabaho, sa eskwela, sa pagatiman sa atong pamilya, no? Uh, Jesus is part. No? Meaning, we involve Jesus, no? Sa tanan atong gabuhaton, sa atong kinabuhi, mga egsoon. And as we continue to move, no, 
we don't bring our baggages with us, my exon. Okay, common kay na sa mga Kristohanon nga, Okay, Lord, yes, Lord, I will pursue your plans over my life. But wait, Lord, I have to carry all of this. No. God calls us to let go. That's not from me. That's from the world. Okay? Those lies from the world, you have to let go. And when you will let go of those things that's not from God, then the grace of God can work mightily in our lives. Amen? So I hope my exon nga na-bless mo karon nga, nga, nga gathering na to online. No? There are two things that God wants us to be reminded of. No? First, that He calls us to move. Dili gusto sa ginoo nga magpabilin ta sa atong comfort zone. No? He wants us to move forward. And as we continue to move forward, our goal is to know Jesus more every day of our lives. So that's why when we move forward, God is also calling us to let go. Let go of any things or even anyone, no, if that's if it's a person no that's holding you, no, uh, going to Jesus, no, let go of anything, anyone, no, that will hinder you to pursue Jesus. So God calls us to let go, but hold on, no, to his promises. Hold on to Jesus. If we learn these two things, my exon, if we are Ah, uh, we have uh, we're going to apply this sa atong kinabuhi, no? Dili ta mahimong pareha ani nga tawo may exon uh, that we will be stuck, no, sa atong kinabuhi because we stay in our comfort zone and even if we move, we we bring along with us all our our uh, bad habits, all our weaknesses, no, we, wala na to na let go, we carry them them along, then we will be like this guy, trap. It's a trap, my exon, no? We have this emotional attachment with things, with material things, just like me before. It's a trap, my exon. Because sooner or later, you're going to fulfill it in your own way. No? And nagin ay bikil, my exon. Nagin ay kagubot, nagin ay kaguliang mahitabo. But God is telling us, okay, as you move with me, as you move forward, no, focus on Jesus and let go of those things that are not from me. Okay? That are not part of my plan for you. And surely, we'll live like this young man. Okay? We'll be a happy, smiling, and confident Christian because we have Jesus in our lives. Amen, mga exon. So, I hope you are, you, you get something, mga exon, for, for our sharing, no? Uh, this particular Sunday. And I know, brothers and sisters, it's really challenging to move forward with Jesus and to let go of those things that's hindering us from moving forward because it requires one thing and that thing is discipline. Hebrews 12:11 tells us that no discipline is enjoyable while it is happening. It's painful, but afterward there will be a peaceful harvest of right living for those who are trained in this way. So while nagkahitabo ang disiplina may exon sa tong kinabuhi, no? While nag-undergo ta ning process now, it's not enjoyable, it's painful, especially kung makoreksyon ang ta, o niya, feeling na to, may insultuhan ta, but no emotion attached, no? We apply wisdom kay kabalota, dili ni makadaot, in fact, makatabang sa toa. Amen? I hope na amoy na kuha, karol na itong apanagtigom online, brothers and sisters, no? And uh, I hope uh, ato ning ma-apply sa atong kinabuhi as we continue to move forward, as we continue to pursue, no? ang mga plano ang giandam sa ginoo sa atong kinabuhi. Amen? Amen. So, let's always remember, brothers and sisters, that's all because of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ already suffered and died for our sins. Today, we can live this righteous and favored life. So, grace generation Christians, let's continue to declare over and over again that I am in Christ. I am righteous because of Christ's sacrifice. I am greatly blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved because Jesus loves me. Amen and amen. So brothers and sisters, I would like to invite you. Let's bow down our, our heads so we can have our final prayer. Our most gracious Father, thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you give us that we could gather online, Lord, to hear another revelation from you. Thank you, Father, for reminding us today that we have to continue to move forward. We don't settle for less. And as we move along, we focus on our goal. And our goal is Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving us this 
ministry, the undeserved favor ministry that today, Lord, and even every day of our lives, Lord, we have this opportunity to know Jesus more and more. And we have to you for giving us this opportunity to continue to grow with Jesus, Father. Thank you also, Father, for giving us this uh, opportunity to be reminded, Lord, that we have to let go of those things, Lord, that's hindering us, that's slowing us down, Lord, to pursue your plans that you have for us. Thank you, Father, for giving us the strength, for, for giving us uh, the blessings, Lord, that, that we need, Lord, especially during these times, Lord. We know, Lord, that the, we, we are now confronted with these challenges, with this pandemic, but we know, Lord, that we are already victorious because of what Jesus did on the cross. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you for this family, the undeserved favor family, Lord. Even though we gather only online, but Lord, no one can separate us from your love. Lord, thank you, Father, for for giving us the assurance, Lord, that tanan namong gabuhaton, Lord, tanan namong buhaton, mit bis sa among pamilya, sa among kompanya, sa among trabaho, sa among pag-iskwela, Lord, kabalumi, Lord, that you already you already gave us success and that's because we have jesus thank you father for this wonderful opportunity and we just give you thanks and praise in the mighty name of your son jesus christ our lord and savior and everybody will say amen and amen so thank you brothers and sisters i'll see you again next sunday online god bless you all